Today we are going to learn about what is called the Great Commission, and we're going to learn that Jesus asked his disciples to go everywhere and tell people about him. So to get us started, there was this song that um, was free to use, so I am going to use it and help us learn a little bit about the Great Commission. Here we go. Hope you enjoyed that song and it's kind of a great introduction for what we're doing for the day, talking about the Great Commission. And in this story, Jesus asks his disciples to join him at the top of a mountain and he commissions his disciples, which really means he gives them an important job to do. And we're going to find out that song gave it away, but we're going to find out more about what he asked them to do. So let's listen to the story here. I'm going to read from our Spark Bible, The Great Commission. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and earth. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful. We knew it. Fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said, there's more. The disciples listened carefully. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began the work Jesus had told them to do. So we're going to work a little bit on that memory verse. The first part of this, which is go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Now you try that. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. One more time. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And Jesus said to the disciples, Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And you know what? The disciples trusted that God would be with them everywhere they went, so that's what they did. Here's the thing all of us are Jesus' disciples. And all of us can show and tell people about Jesus everywhere we go. There are places at our home, at our school, the places where we normally are in everyday life. And granted, things are a little different right now, but there are still places that you go that you can even show little glimpses of Jesus or as you get prepared to get back out and, and doing things, you can think about where in your life that the things that you normally do, can you share Jesus or be that light of Jesus so that people can say, hmm, there's something different about that person that maybe I want to know more about this Jesus guy. Or maybe it's just doing something nice for a neighbor right now. There's lots of ways that we can tell about Jesus in our everyday life. So let's think about when we do cheers. When we make a big cheer for something, what are some of the places where we cheer for other people? Well, at sporting events, maybe at a concert or a recital or other kinds of performances, lots of different places where we cheer and we shout, maybe at a parade, lots of things where we have that opportunity. So what I want you to do 
is you can pause the video and see if you could make a cheer for Jesus. So here's the thing. Jesus wants us to go into the world and tell other people about God's love for them. And so what would you tell other people about Jesus? What kinds of things are important? So pause the video. You could even roll up a piece of paper into some sort of a megaphone and you could go, oh, and you could cheer and sell it, say your cheer. So think about what you could say. Pause your video and make a cheer for Jesus. Can you imagine what it would have been like to travel to so many places in the world telling people about Jesus just like the disciples did? You know, we're Christians now because of the journeys that the disciples made so long ago. So here's another fun thing you can do as you close today. You know, that, that song at the beginning had the green light to go. So today would be a great day to play Red Light, Green Light at home. It's a great way to remind us that we can go and tell about Jesus. So Jesus asks us to go everywhere in the world to tell people about him. None of us can get everywhere by ourselves, but together we can get to a lot more places. And so that's pretty cool to get to lots of different places around the world world that we go. So there is some questions and a family guide, some activity pages that uh, are also included with the email that is sent out with this video. And you can do those to help understand the story about going out and telling other people, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. So let's close in prayer. Jesus, we will show and tell of your love everywhere we go. We pray for all people, creatures, and life in Michigan and in all the world. Thank you for being with us always, no matter where we go. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a good time and a little different scenery. I thought it'd be fun to be outside, so hopefully the noises from the cars that went by weren't too loud, but just thought I'd give you a different view since it's starting to be nice outside. Have a great day.